Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe. So today's video is going to be my June favorites. I've never filmed a favorites video before, but I love watching them. And I figured I found like a lot of stuff this month that I really just used a lot. And I would highly recommend any of these products. So some, um, most of it is makeup. There's some random stuff. But if you guys are interested to see what my June favorites were and what I was loving this month, then just keep on watching. Okay, so for the first item, I'm going to talk about hair for a little bit. So my first favorite of the month was this. It's a 10 Milk Express Miracle Silk Leave-In Treatment. I... Honestly, like cannot live without the it's a 10 like leave-in treatments. This is a little bit different This is the miracle silk leave-in. I usually use the one with the orange lid I'm sure you guys have seen it in Target, which is weird that they sell it there, but um, I Cannot live without this stuff like I use the it's a 10 whenever I wash my hair I spray it in my hair and it's just awesome for just making your hair really not tangled and just really smooth when you dry it out. I use this on all my clients at work. Um, I just feel like whenever I'm without it, it makes such a difference. This is one of those products that you can just spray in your hair when you get out of the shower. And like I said, you can comb through your hair so easily and it just smells really nice and it makes your hair really, really silky. And, um, it's really good for silkiness, cuts down drying time, shields against frizz, enhances body, protects color, strengthens hair shaft, instant detangler, which is so, so true, ultra moisturizing, glossy shine, build up free. I seriously swear by this product. If you guys do not own the It's a 10 brand or ever tried it, then you are missing something in your life. So I highly, highly recommend the It's a 10 line. Any of the like leave-in spray ones, there's, I think there's three different ones. There's the keratin one, which I love. The, this one, the Miracle Silk Leave-In, this is the Milk Express. So I think this one's for like ultra, ultra like moisturizing, which is something I need because I have bleached hair and it's just sometimes gets really dry feeling. So without this stuff, I'm like lost. Ooh, almost just lost it. Um, so yeah, you guys definitely need to try this. It's expensive, but it's so worth every penny. The next item of my June favorites is actually a perfume, and this is the Pink Sugar. I'm sure you guys have heard of this before. It actually smells so good. It reminds me of like cotton candy. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It's very sweet, as you can tell by the name, um, sugar pink sugar so the bottle is really cute and I just leave this on my desk and as you can see I've used half of it and I've just this is my like summer scent I just spray this on my body and I get the most compliments whenever I wear this everybody always asks what I'm wearing when I wear this and it's just a really sweet girly scent so if you guys have never tried this then I definitely recommend it if you like smelling like sweet I do have perfumes that I like that are more like nighttime appropriate that I love and they're my favorites but this is more of like a daytime sweet girly scent that I like. the next item is actually a brush and this is my morphe m501 brush if you guys have not tried morphe then you really should they're very very good high quality brushes and they're not expensive I mean at least in my opinion I think that they're a really good brush for a quality price um, I love this brush for highlighting and as you know, highlighting is like really popular now. Um, you see all over Instagram and stuff. So I've been highlighting like crazy with this brush. It just fits perfectly on your cheekbones. And it's just like the fluffiest, like nicest brush for highlighting. So I've been loving this the month of June. On the topic of highlighting, I have three highlighting products to talk about because... Highlighting is just so in right now, like I just said. So the first thing is obviously the Jaclyn Hill Becca um, Face Palette. If you guys didn't get your hands on this, oh, like it is so, so good and just so pretty. So as you can see, these are the highlighting shades and then you have... Uh, three blushes. This one's more of like a bronzer, but I've been mixing these two for my highlight and I absolutely 
love these highlights mixed together. This one is her like newer one. This is the more gold shade and this is Champagne Pop. You can buy Champagne Pop separately with Becca. Um, but I really like mixing the two of these. This one is really gold so I will swatch it for you guys. And then the Champagne Pop is a little more like peachy. So I will show you guys on the back of my hand. This one right here is um, a little bit more gold and then this is Champagne Pop and it's just like BAM in your face like it's just one of those highlights that like if you really want to look glowy for the day you need your Champagne Pop because that shit is popping. I just love Jaclyn Hill so anything about her or anything that has to do with her I just am in love with so I really really love this palette and I used it almost every day. Actually, I have used it every day in the month of June, and I probably will keep using it all year. The next highlight that I actually got in one of my Ipsy bags was the Trust Fun Beauty That Glow Though, and it's just like in a stick formation like this. And I, when I first saw this, I was like, oh wow, that's cool, whatever. And I find with my Ipsy stuff, like if it doesn't like blow my mind away or like catch my attention I kind of forget about it but I was going through my highlights and I saw it and I was like I'm, I'm just gonna try it you know see how I feel about it and I've been loving putting this on like for a cream highlight and then setting it with one of the highlights that I've been talking about and I just love it um, as you can see it's right here it is a gorgeous gorgeous pink like glowy I don't even know how to explain it, but it's actually a really, really good highlight and it stays on my face all day. So what I do is I put it on my cheekbones and blend it out and then I'll set it with like a powder highlight and my highlight does not budge. So I've been actually really, really liking this and it was in my Ipsy bag. So it's um, really cool to find products that you've never heard of in your Ipsy bag that you end up falling in love with because it just kind of like opens the beauty world. So I think that it's really cool. So I've been really liking this. Another highlight that actually works so good to set over that one that I was just talking about is um, by Ella Rose Minerals and they sent me a little sample of this to try and they didn't tell me to make a video on this or anything. They just wanted to send me it to see how I would like it and I love this stuff. This is actually... Um, it's called I Am Green Minded, so I'm pretty sure it's like all natural um, ingredients in it. And it's just like a sample size, but it actually comes with a ton of highlight in it. And I don't know, I never checked like their website to see like what the full size is. But this is going to last me a long time because this shit is pigmented. So I'm going to show you guys um, what it looks like on the back of my hand. And oh my god, like this stuff is so pigmented. And it has like that really pretty pink undertone so wait till I show you guys this so like are you kidding I'm just gonna give you a second to just stare at this if this isn't what you want in a highlight then I don't know what is because this stuff is so so pigmented if you're someone that doesn't like highlight then you won't like this because this definitely is some highlight girl so like I said it is extremely extremely pigmented and even when you blend it out it's just it's so so pretty next is this Sephora Beauty Amplifier this stuff is like a primer to put on before your foundation and then again talking about glow I have been loving like a glowy face in the summer um, I don't think there's anyone that doesn't unless you're like extremely oily then you probably don't really like the look of it but because I'm so dry I love looking like dewy and glowy within because it just makes you look really healthy so I've been using this and it's actually really really pretty it has like a gold undertone and I got this from Sephora and I think it's like twenty dollars I want to say and it's right here on the back of my hand and I just apply this before my foundation and it just gives me like a really pretty finish I know you can't really see it right now but it just gives you like that dewy glowy look when you put your foundation on because some foundations can be really heavy especially in the summer so I like this because it still gives your face like a nice glow and you still look like you're glowing within so I've been really liking this the next thing 
um, that I've been loving is a foundation, and this is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I'm wearing this on my skin right now. I love this foundation, especially with a beauty blender. For a while, I was using like just a normal stippling brush for my foundation from Sigma, but I've been loving using this with a beauty blender in the summer. It just gives you like a flawless flawless finish and this stuff does not move throughout the day. I really really recommend this foundation um, if you guys are looking for like a really good like full coverage just really smooth looking foundation this stuff is really really good. Next favorite is a concealer that I'm sure you guys have all heard about and seen in my videos if you guys watch my videos and this is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Concealer. Best concealer in the world. If you guys have never tried this, I'm just going to say this like about every product because I love them all and if you've never tried any of them then you need to. This concealer just, I don't know what it is, it just blends out seamlessly and, it's, and it feels very light on your skin. It doesn't feel really cakey. You definitely have to set it like any concealer. Um, it gives you full coverage so it's definitely going to crease if you do not set it. But it's very lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy under the eyes. It's just such a good concealer. And I just can't have enough good things to say about it. It's just amazing. The next product that I use pretty much every day in June uh, is this L'Oreal Glam Bronze Bronzer. So this is just such a nice bronzer because it does have like a little bit of a glow to it. It's not like a flat matte bronzer and I really like using a bronzer that has just a little bit of shimmer to it and this isn't, okay I wouldn't say shimmer because I don't like shimmery bronzer. It has like a glow to it. Like it's almost like you're glowing within with the bronzer. It's not just like that flat dirty like bronzer look. Sometimes some bronzers can be too ashy and just look weird on the skin. This doesn't do that. It has like a really pretty like glow to it even though it's a bronzer so I really like using this I just it's such a good affordable bronzer especially because it's from the drugstore two mascaras that I've been loving um, this is my Too Faced better than sex I used to use this all the time and then I went back to my L'Oreal voluminous that I still use all the time but for a high-end um, mascara, this one is so good. I will spend the money on it. Usually I don't go for high-end um, mascaras because I do love my L'Oreal one that is so much cheaper from the drugstore. This one is, I think, $21. And I used to use this all the time, and then I just got sick of like spending so much money on a mascara because this is a beauty product that you go through you know, more often than anything else um, because it's like an everyday product. So I've been really loving my Better Than Sex Mascara again. It's just such a good mascara. The wand is looks like this. It's just a little bit bigger than your typical mascara, but it's just magic. Um, so yeah. The other mascara is from the drugstore and the label is actually rubbed off because I throw this in my makeup bag. It comes with me everywhere. Um, so this is, which I don't really know why because I don't really apply my, my mascara throughout the day, but for some reason I feel like I need to have it with me. So this is the Rimmel Lash Accelerator and it looks like this. This is a mascara that I use for my lower lash line. It just really gets in your lashes really nicely. It doesn't cause like any like um, smudging underneath your eyes. Works really, really well for my lower lash line. Um, I also do use this like to separate my lashes because it does have like that really small bristle brush and it really does well with separating the lashes. Moving on to lips, my two favorites of the month are from ColourPop and they are the um, liquid lipsticks in the shade Trap and Midi. I've been loving these two. I actually have a mixture of them both on my lips right now if you are curious. Um, these liquid lipsticks are just amazing. I've said it in my videos before and I use them in tutorials. They work so nicely and they last throughout the day. I definitely don't have time to just keep applying lip color because I'm working throughout the day and drinking and eating and I just don't have time to just keep 
fixing my lips so it's really really comes in handy when you just apply this because it lasts throughout the day if they feel like they're starting to get dry I'll just apply a lip gloss it doesn't take any time you just plop the gloss on and you're good to go but I really like these I highly recommend the ColourPop makeup line I just everything they create is amazing and I just love these two shades they're beautiful Sticking with ColourPop, I cannot forget this little baby. This is my favorite eyeliner. I've been using this a lot in June. I used it a lot in May as well. It is just such an amazing eyeliner. Like, it makes green eyes pop, and I have to say, I've gotten the most compliments on my eyes when I wear this than I ever do. Whenever I wear this, people compliment me. I went to the mall, and like every store I went to, someone was like, what are you wearing on your eyes? Like, that's so pretty. And this is in the shade Piggy Bank. I actually recommended this to a friend yesterday, and she went on the website to buy it, and it was sold out. So as you can see, it's very popular. So whenever you can, just check the website to see if it's in stock. It is just, you need this eyeliner in your life, especially if you have light eyes. It is just like the prettiest purple. It, it stays on your eyes all day. It, just, it doesn't budge. It, it literally, like, I'll wear it and... Sometimes, I'm not going to lie, I forget to wash my face at night, and I'll wake up in the morning and I'll still have, like, purple, like, smudged in my lashes because it literally does not move. This is just such a good eyeliner, and I find whenever I use, like, any colored eyeliners, they never stay on my waterline. This does, and I've purchased three of these so far. So, you know, I love it. Can't forget my Anastasia, Anastasia, whatever you guys want to call it. <laughs> This is the Brow Gel. This stuff is like hairspray for your eyebrows. Your eyebrows will not move with this stuff. It is so good. I've gone through so many of these, and it's just such a good brow gel, so I highly recommend this. I really wanted to mention this eyeshadow palette. I don't know if it's limited edition or what, but I bought this, and I think it is so beautiful. I actually use this on my eyes today. It is the Lorac um, eyeshadow palette, the Romance eyeshadow palette. So it looks like this, and it's just so pretty. It has like this really, really light nude pink, which I use all the time on my lids. And then it has like these really pretty shimmery col colors, and it has a matte brown, and then some shimmer down here. I have been loving this palette for just like an everyday go-to eyeshadow palette. I will use the brown in the palette for just like my crease. And, and then what I have been loving this palette for is this shade right here. And literally what I do is I take my finger and I get it on my finger like this. And then I literally just put it on my eyelid. I know that sounds kind of like sloppy, but I find sometimes... I can get the most pigment with some shadows with my finger. Sometimes if you use a brush, it can kind of like wipe away the product. I'm sure you guys know what I mean, but I'll just get it on my finger and just put it on my eyelid, and that's what I'm wearing right now. And it is literally just like the perfect like milky, pinky undertone, and it's perfect for your eyes. I just really, really have been loving this palette, and I apologize if you can't get it anymore. I don't remember how long ago I got this, but I've been using this like crazy in the month of June, so I had to mention it. And one last thing that I cannot forget to mention are chokers. As you can see, I'm wearing one right now. I have been wearing chokers like crazy in the month of June. I have a few other ones that I wear. This one actually is funny because not even kidding you, I'm pretty sure my 6th grade picture, I'm wearing this choker. I wish I could go find it, and if I do go find it after this video, I will insert a clip of that. So you guys can make fun of me because I look so young and just, I don't even know. Do you guys remember when the style was to wear your hair like slicked back in a ponytail? Not a high ponytail, a low ponytail. And then to have like two random like bangs just hanging in your face like that was my the style when I was younger and I'm not kidding you I had this choker on not the same one not sure where it went but I definitely was wearing a choker exactly like this in my sixth grade picture so that is everything um, for my favorites for the month of June. I really enjoyed filming this video. It's really fun to kind of like actually look back on the month and see like what products I used the most. 
And um, yeah, so if you guys liked this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up so I will know to do them more often. I want to try to do like a monthly favorites like on the regular. Um, so let me know if that's something that you guys want to see. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.